Eric doesn't, despite his last name, he never works small. And, and when he first contacted me about this, uh, I was I was working on another project up in Oregon, and I wrote him back after I read it and said, "You gotta be kidding." And we can rent uh, a staircase, and we can rent a window, and we can rent a fireplace, but we can't rent snow. It doesn't last, and it when we need to, and that's what this movie's all about: is the snow. We had boxes of quantities of snow that we we applied with a colander that we could actually go around and sprinkle. It was like having a sieve. We had to figure out how to spend the money most effectively that we did have. And I think we turned, turned out really well. I had to look at designing a frame that was could be seen on a screen that was a good size, but it also could be delivered on an iPod. The ice effect is done with something that looks kind of like jello. It's melted and then it's poured over and puddled and dripped and draped and then dusted with a little bit of snow and it adds crystals to it and it makes it look sensational. It really looked, it looked beautiful. So John Schneider, when he was carrying the child up the stairs, had to make sure that he played it as slippery instead of sticky because it's really sticky, it's not slippery. There's one other kind of snow that Eric and I talked about using too because he wanted to see footprints. And there is one snow product that's very good about showing footprints and you add water to it and it becomes five times bigger than what it started out to be. The problem with it is, though, that it's very slippery, but we really needed it for the child and when they actually find him lying, looking like he's almost dead in the snow. So we built a box that was large enough for Marco to actually get the frame that he needed. To me, it was like doing Gone with the Wind for an iPod. And now we know when we go to series what elements we're going to use and what elements we're not going to use. Everything that could have been detailed and was extravagant had it been burned as fuel. Anything that was wooden had been burned as fuel. The elements that were left were stone, steel, and plastic. So that was really all that was left. Well, I love working with Eric. He may think big, but he also knows how to use an eraser. That's part of why I love working with him, because we have that great, we can sit down and figure it all out.